Hello everyone, Simicraft here. Welcome to chess. Just regular chess this time. Uh, don't worry, 5D chess is not disappearing, but I figured, hey, might as well spice it up a bit by adding a bit of uh, vanilla chess in there as well. I'm playing this chess on uh, chess.com, and uh, as such, we'll actually be able to play against some uh, humans. Uh, I'm sure you can tell down there I am actually in the United States, for anyone curious, if you haven't figured that out yet. Uh, and uh, currently, my ELO is actually rated at, at an even 1,000, which obviously in the grand scheme of things isn't a great ELO, but it's, it's not a terrible one either, uh, at least... I guess compared to people with lower, so I guess as a bit of a goal we'll have here is trying to increase that. I'm not going to make any bold claims of like, we're on the road to 1500 or something, but uh, hopefully we do well. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get into this first game. It, it's chess. Uh, hopefully you all know how chess works. Looks like we're playing the white pieces here. We're going to open with uh, C4, the English opening. That is... Uh, Right now, that's my go-to opening is white. Um, let's see. Uh, then knight to c3 is pretty good. To, that way we can cover this space that the black pawn might have otherwise tried to advance to. Okay, okay. Um, we'll just advance a pawn forward. That, uh, covers this square, which the knight might have been trying to get to. Then we got another knight. So let's see. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's push the bishop up. And again, that's putting some pressure on some spaces. Now you might actually... No. You might want to try to take the knight here. Uh, we would like for that to not happen, so we'll push a pawn. Okay, okay, well. Happens, I suppose. Uh, which... Hmm, which pawn do we take? I think we take with this one to keep a stronger uh, center. Okay. I think here we clearly just fall back. We don't want to trade a bishop for a pawn. That doesn't seem like a very good idea. Uh, we'll see if commentating actually proves to be like... Hopefully it's not detrimental to my chess abilities. Uh, we could push a pawn forward. We could push it forward twice. That leaves the en passant open, but if they don't take it, I actually do kind of like having my pawns forward like this. Okay. Hmm, what else shall we do? Well, we should probably think about castling pretty soon, so let's get this knight out of the way. This is a pretty annoying pawn. We might want to uh, take it at some point. Uh, do I really care about this? I don't think so. Because, I mean, if you take my knight, I'll just take your bishop. Honestly, it's a trade I'm welcome to. Uh, I, I'll take a pair of knights over a pair of... Or a pair of bishops over a pair of knights any day. Well, certainly there are circumstances where the uh, knights would be better, but I'm not convinced this is one of those circumstances. Now we threaten your knight with our bishop, uh, which is currently not being defended by anything, so you'll probably either want to move that knight or defend it. Can't really move it there or there or there. Okay, defending with the queen. That's not bad, but now you're... Now, effectively, we've got the same sort of thing going on. His bishop is pinning my knight to my queen, and my bishop is pinning his knight to his queen, so... Uh, we're probably actually going to want to break those pins at some point. Uh, the question is how we go about that. Uh, I think in this case it's probably going to be just a simple... Because we want to... I like this. Defends the knight, defends the bishop, and puts some pressure on the pawn. You can't ask for much more. Okay, I guess we'll just take. <laughs> Uh, I'm perfectly fine with this outcome, honestly. Ah. Okay. Now, obviously, I don't take because the uh, the queen would uh, take. Uh, what are you trying to do? I'm not afraid of this at all. Uh, or this. Or this, really. I and mean, this would be annoying because I'd have to take with the king. I think we'll just pressure the knight and see where he goes. Try to get the knight elsewhere. Oh, and by the way, I didn't explicitly mention it, but we are playing uh, ten minutes aside. So I've got ten. We both have ten minutes to make all of our moves. So now it's my turn to make a move, and I should probably 
Make it a good one, hopefully. Um, hmm. Gotta find a way to break through. If we put a pawn here, does that help us at all? Take, take, take. Not really. Um, hmm. My bishop here, my dark squared bishop is pretty worthless. I, I need a... We can take this pawn out. Pawn advance. I actually like this idea. Threaten the pawn. We could potentially take, take, or we take like that. And I actually think the better thing to do here is take with the rook. A uh, queen is would have been debatably good as well. So, but now what this will allow is we can push this pawn forward and finally get our dark squared bishop involved. Okay. And is there any reason to not do that immediately? I don't think so. Although, the more I'm looking at this, I kind of think, what if we do this? Right? Like that's actually... Because that threatens this knight. Uh, you could take with this knight, but then I'd just take back, so you wouldn't do that. If you move the knight out of the way, I take your uh, queen with my bishop. I actually think this is a great move, so we'll delay getting the, the bishop out there for just a second. So we can uh, bask in this glory. Uh, now, one thing is you could move the knight there. Which would threaten my queen, in which case I'd probably have to take with this pawn. And then he would take my bishop. Uh, which I guess technically brings us out about even. Uh, and we'll see where it goes from there, if that's how it does indeed evolve. I could see putting my queen right here on e7, potentially. Uh, that would threaten... This knight, as well as your uh, pawn on the back squares. Huh. But uh, I guess it all depends on if he finds that. I do think knight to... Okay. I'll take it. Great. So you're threatening the rook. I'll just take your queen. Because that seems like a good trade to me. And I think... Uh... Now granted, you can always mess things up, but... As of right now, I'm feeling pretty good about where this game is headed. Uh, let's back up our, uh, we'll give our pawn some backup there, as well as that opens up my uh, dark squared bishop to get more involved, which is always a good thing. It's good to have pieces that are involved, as it were. Okay, my terribly cons... Okay, yeah, I don't want you to take my rook with your knights. That, that's obviously bad. Uh, but where are we going to avoid that? Obviously, we can't go there. Could go there. Not sure how beneficial going there is, though. Might want to just sidestep, perhaps. I actually do like this. Because this lines us up on the, the king here, which means if we push this pawn forward to like here, they literally can't take with this pawn because that pawn is pinned to the king. So, yeah. I think that sets us up quite interestingly. And I, I, I'm i not terribly afraid of this knight. If it goes there, we take with queen. If it goes there, we take with the queen. If it goes there, we take with the queen. If it goes there, we take with the queen. <laughs> like, there, there are not a lot of places this can realistically go. So, hmm, that's an interesting one. Ooh, I think bishop to h6. I like this move, because th there's nothing he can do. He, he is losing a rook this turn, or next turn, because he's gotten it completely trapped by his other rook. Uh, I'm trying to think, is that, like, obviously he can't block with the king. N yeah, I think, unless he, like, puts up some sort of move attacking a queen or something, he's just flat out lost a rook. Uh, so we'll see if he gets aggressive. He might, but if he doesn't, then I'd say this is a, a pretty good scenario for us. Uh, is this concerning to me at all? I mean, I guess I've got the choice here. Do I take the... I actually... I kind of think I maybe just take the knight here. Because the knight I take for free. And I don't think there's anything he can do to save the rook. And endanger my queen at the same time. So I think we we take this knight. I mean, that rook's not going. Or not that rook. That rook's not going anywhere. Uh, you gotta think about the order of which you take the pieces sometimes. Okay. And now we take. 
And if he takes back, I can take this pawn, which I will. Start really dismantling the structure. Now, granted, we're up, like, a queen and a rook already. I mean, we're up 14, uh... 14 pieces of material, so... Or 14 pawns of material, I think is technically the measure. So I don't think we really need to concern ourselves too much with everything, but... You know. Now, technically speaking, maybe I should be going for, like, the, you know, vice grip of death here, but... If I can just dismantle all the pawns, why not? Okay, uh, and I'm honestly not concerned about those pawns at all. Let us... Let's advance our own pawns up. Uh... Yeah, still not concerned about that. We'll see if he takes. I want to be opposed. And we'll just take with our own pawn. We can push this pawn up, which puts that rook in a bit of a tight situation. Okay, so you've pinned the queen to the pawn. That's great. I'll just attack your rook with my own rook. And that's the great thing about being up in material, is if he trades... Okay, I didn't expect him to do that, so now we've basically 100% guaranteed one here. And we'll do it in style by uh, grabbing a queen. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, I guess the only thing we need to make sure we don't do here is we need to make sure we don't accidentally uh, stalemate the guy. So every move should put him in check going forward, is how we want to run this. Okay, then we go here, and I think that is... No, that's not checkmate, because you block with the uh, pawn, don't you? But then I go here, and uh, now this is checkmates. Alrighty, that is first game, first win. Wonderful. Oh, and by the way, I'm sure you notice I'm silent jury here. That's because I made this account personally, uh, with no intention of recording anything on it, and that's just the automatic username it generated for me, and I thought it was pretty cool. Anyways, uh, moving on. Uh, get white again, how lucky. English opening, which is... I'm not going to, uh, hmm. Normally people open with, like, an e5 sort of deal. I kind of like the idea of pushing my own e4 now. And... Alright, that's just dumb. Uh, we don't- we want to be careful at opening up on the dark squares too much, especially given how active their dark square bishop is at present. Uh, like, for example, this would just be a stupid move, because then we just get our uh, rook killed. I think instead we will put our... Knight right there. Hmm. I would like to, if at all possible, here we'll push this pawn forward. I know I just said that was a stupid move, but as long as the knight is here, the, the rook is protected, so it's fine. Besides, I'm planning on putting, ooh, okay, we once, well, that's not a big deal. He's attacking the pawn with his bishop right now, but we've got the knight defending. However, Bishop takes, knight takes, hmm, that's not good. However, no, that's still not good. All right, we need to put some support on this. Um, this, perhaps, could work. I think this is what we will do. Got to build up a good pawn structure. Anyways, but we want to get our knight on... Oh, right, that was the one thing that was... Okay, so... This is not a good opening. Uh, we should have used the other thing to defend. However, we get their rook now, so honest... Well, okay, he, he blocked. However, what if we did this? Or what if we did this? Okay, so if we were to go there, yeah, we'll push the pawn forward. Uh, the great thing about threatening people with pawns is... If, I t if you can manage to take basically anything with a pawn, it's going to be worthwhile. So, he's got a couple options here. He could move out of the way, and then I might push further forward, which would then potentially open up that opportunity to, to uh, take his rook. Uh, we are down right now. I w I'm not going to make any excuses about that. We are indeed down. I'm going to take this knight while I've got the opportunity. He's probably going to take like that, I'd imagine. Uh, which is actually concerning to me, because then uh, 
potentially puts the king in danger. So we're going to block preemptively with the knights. Uh, and we're going to probably want a castle. Maybe this, this sort of deal to open up our ability to castle. Uh, although it's a tough one because that, that bishop is what's stopping the knight from getting taken if the knight were to be under threat at the present. Uh, I do kind of... Hmm, okay, so yeah, there's the, the queen threatening us. Huh. Interesting. I just, oh, we, oh, we can't do this, though, because then bishop takes. Ooh. Uh, yeah, this is... I'll be perfectly honest, this is not a very good setup we've got here. I think we put the dark squared bishop here and start laser beaming this uh, pawn with the idea of we can do bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes, potentially. Um, now, obviously, I would imagine my opponent is going to be intended intelligent enough to not take with the queen after I take with the bishop, but you never know at this uh, level. People make mistakes all the time, like I do. So, uh, yeah. I mean, heck, I almost gave up my other rook. <laughs> uh. Okay, so just getting the pawn out of harm's way. That's a fair move. Hmm. Now, is there any value? So if we were to go there, is there any value in this? To force the rook to go somewhere else, but the rook probably wants to go there anyways, so it actually probably doesn't help. Uh, we could threaten the queen, but then why, the queen would probably just like go somewhere else. I don't think it really does anything. Um, okay, we've got to get the king elsewhere, I think. Yeah. I think it's, we're going to give up on castling just because this maneuver seems kind of far-fetched at the moment. Uh, we need to get the, our knight unpinned and uh, get the knight involved. If we're already down material, we can't afford to have half our pieces locked away for the remainder of the game, I don't think. Okay, that's fine. Actually, hmm. Block with the pawn? I actually kind of like that. It's defended by the uh, knight, so queen can't just take it. And now the queen has to move again. Okay. Who knows, maybe we can manage to get the queen trapped. Can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. Can't go there, obviously. Now if we... Okay. So now you're threatening the, uh... Well, you're not really threatening the knight, are you? Just set up, like, a uh, straight-up, like, defensive line there. What if we put this bishop here and threaten that pawn? Uh, well, we've got to do something. I actually... Let's see what you do uh, in response to this. So what's the idea here? We've got a bishop here. We're threatening this pawn. Can't really defend by moving the pawn forward, though, because then I... Well, I could take the knight, but it's debatable whether that's actually a good idea or not. Uh, I'm already down material, so I probably don't want to be the one. Oh. Hmm. I didn't even really see that. We'll be fine. We'll just trade the bishops. Queen's presumably going to take here. Yeah. So, queen has the has the knight as a potential target, has the rook as a... Well, the queen really... Well, actually, the queen doesn't really have any potential targets right now. Because the knight... Uh, the, the king would take back if the queen attempted to take the knights. If you took the pawn, the rook would take. If you took the rook, the queen would take. So... Actually, everything's basically fine. Uh, I mean, it's pretty scary having the queen right there. I think I'll just take my free pawn and uh, be on my way. But we'll see what what uh, Black does here. And in my opinion, I th uh, well, what would I do if I were Black? I would highly con... Yeah, that's a good move. That's a good move. Because now, queen takes... King can't take back because there's the rook. However, if I put the queen right here... Or maybe I put the queen here. I think... Do I want to trade queens, though? I don't think I do. So we put the queen... I don't want my queen pinned, either. Put the queen right here. Put the queen on d1. 
That way, now the queen's defending the knight, so if we get like a queen takes, queen takes, rook takes. Okay, or rook can take first, that's fine. The order doesn't really move. Okay, yeah, that's that's bad. Um, hmm, yikes. Because, yeah, the queen was what was defending the rook. Uh, that's no good. Um, hmm, hmm, indeed. We've got to do something about this queen. Uh, although, honestly, I'm not sure what we can do, realistically. Um, let's see. We could go- well, hold on a second. Check. King goes here. Check. King would have to go there. Check. Ah, th this might be interesting. I'm not sure where we go with it exactly, but... Getting aggressive might actually be the key here. So king has to go here. From there I can check with the bishop. From this position the king would have to go here. Uh, is that what I want though? Because I'm not sure where this... Does this actually lead anywhere? Or am I just dancing around? Uh, effectively. What about this? Take? Well actually that's a terrible idea. That's an awful idea. Forget I ever said it. Or is it? So you take, you could take back, and then I would take with the queen. Then you'd probably do some nasty stuff with your queen, but it would help even things up a bit. Let's say you don't take. Check. And then that allows you to get the bishop out of there. Let's try it. Sometimes you need to do some uh, crazy stuff to uh, gain an, an advantage. Because the delicate thing here is we're going to want to be able to get the queen out of here, undo this pin. Okay, so here. Yeah, king, you can go there, I guess. Um, hmm. Arguably there might have been better. No, no, it wouldn't have been. That would have been terrible, actually, because then... Well, act well, hmm. it could have been not good later on. Oh! Check! Take. I like that. Because, yes, if the king is in check, then it doesn't matter if his uh, rook has line of sight on my queen. He, he's got to go. Okay. So we'll see what happens. Um, I don't think there is a way for him to check me this turn, so... I think, basically, no matter what, I'm clear to make that maneuver. Okay. Perfect. Check. You have to move the king. Either there or there. And then, basically, no matter what, I then take... I think it's still worth it. Sacrifice the bishop for a rook. That's, that's a trade I'm willing to make. Okay, we're still down, technically, but... Uh, really, I, I should take something. Ah, uh, this one. Well, 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 well. This one would probably be harder to take back, but this one, yeah. This still gets me some coverage on this pawn, so. Okay. Okay, so we've got uh, a queen, queen and several pawns end game here. Uh, we'll see how this turns out. I'm not necessarily the best at end games, so hopefully it goes well. Take. So obviously you're trying to push this pawn and make it a, a queen. I don't want that to happen. Uh, let's see. Move, take, move. Then I can just kind of block you like that. Okay. Um, we'll defend this pawn. Uh, queen. Well, actually, no. The queen can't take this pawn because it's covered by this queen. Okay. Good. Good. Another option is, hmm, take with check. King has to move, then I can take here. And that's, not sure it actually allows me to do what I want. Hmm. Huh. Take, and then what? I can go there. Well, regardless, I've just got to make some moves. We'll, we'll take with check. Uh, 
Uh, hmm, didn't see that one coming. Should have seen that one coming. I uh, will check you again. Actually, I love this. Check you again. You have to move. I take your, your pawn that was close to the end. Perfect. Perfection. If we can just keep winning these pawns, then uh, we should be in pretty good shape here. We want to keep control of this endgame, so if we can... We don't always need to put him in check. If we can make a good move like this, then we should make a good move. However, checking him does allow us to be in the driver's seat. Okay. I'm not concerned about the rest of my pawns right now. He should be, though. I should not move there. <laughs> that would be stupid. If I move here... Hmm. I don't think that actually helps much. You can go there and thwart... Well, let's see. Check. Uh, I, I'm at the point where I, I need to stop talking through these and just kind of make the moves, I guess. Um, check. I'm not looking for a repetition here. Check. Essentially, we want him to... We want to force him to abandon one of the pawns. That's not a check, but... I think it does a pretty good job of making what we want to happen. Even if you push the pawn, we check and then take. Okay. I'm fine with this. This is fine. I think, hopefully. Uh, that's pretty nasty. If you do that. However, if you do that, I'd just take here, and then you can't take my pawn. Drat. Forgot about that. Okay. He's, uh... Okay, this is not looking good. Uh, things are bad once again. And why? Oh. Okay. Sure. This is actually, uh... I'm surprised he didn't take the bomb there. Okay. We only have about a minute on our clock. Uh... And heck, at this point I can just like, take your pawn. <laughs> uh, obviously I'm not doing that just yet. Okay. Really is leading me along here. Uh, he has quite effectively gotten my king away from my pawns, which is not good. Not good. However, we may have to be able to do something with this. It's worth noting his queen is now protecting two of his pawns. So if he moves his queen, that potentially opens up my plausibilities. Hmm, I can't do that, really. Or that. I can do this. So if I go there, you have like a take, take sort of situation. Queen can't really take, because then king takes, and then we win, basically. Or, or heck, we could, we could do a queen and king checkmate, too. That's in the cards. He can't move this pawn either, because then I just take his... Okay. <laughs> okay, now hold on. So if I move, 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 he gets it first. Oh, that's not good. Um, Can I chase him? I'm not sure I can chase him. I definitely can't chase him. Let's hope he doesn't realize this is a race. Okay. I think I've lost this race. Although, hey, hey, we both have queens. And actually, I can do a much more active move immediately. Okay, it's time to play fast. We need to protect the pawns, kill off his pawns, outsmart his queen, uh, and play fast. Uh. Okay. So he's gonna take my last pawn. Okay, or he's not. Great. That works for me. Save the pawn. He will not get this pawn away from me. Arguably, I should have put the pawn forward. We might win this on time. Oh, that was a terrible move. I'm so bad. 
So, for those of you who didn't realize what happened there, uh, effectively, I, uh, I've lost this game. I allowed him to pin my king to my queen. Although I still might win this on time. If this guy's really bad at checkmates. Although, it's hard to mess up a ladder mate like this. <sighs> oh, he messed it up! <laughs> ah, I lost on time! Ah, that hurts. Well, honestly, I didn't deserve to win this that round anyways, but man, that hurts.